Hi, I'm Sherelle. I'm an operations research analyst. And we originally started off using Excel in my organization, and then we switched to Tableau. And if you'd like to find out more, click below. In my organization, Excel is used heavily by the analysts because we see it as more of a data analysis tool, whereas Tableau is more so utilized uh, by the not so tech savvy people, more like the business or the managers in our organization. And it's also the tool that we use to communicate the data to them. Tableau is best for highlighting the hotspots in your data. Well, what Tableau does is, whether it's using color, size, or dimension, it definitely uh, points out those pieces of data that are going to be a major impact to your business operations. So you can, um, and how it does that is it basically, um, if you click on or highlight one portion of data, all the other data relevant to that piece that you've highlighted also comes out. So it's all interconnected, it tells a story, and it makes it easier to communicate that story as well to others. Excel is best for when you want to do quick calculations, when you want to format your data or even organize it. Um, it allows you to do those calculations and formatting a lot quicker than other software that I've used. And I would say that's probably its biggest strength. Whenever you're getting started with any software, you have to be able to provide some type of training in terms of pointing out, highlighting how to navigate the tool, highlighting you know, where the functions are, and making those things clear to the user. So um, whether it's Excel or Tableau, uh, you're going to need to provide that and also you might even need to provide um, some programming skills. You might need to have some programming, especially if you're going to be doing uh, special or sophisticated calculations. You might also have to provide that as well. But as far as actually rolling it out to the organization other than the training, all you need is the licensing. Sometimes that's hard to acquire. Um, but you just need to have enough licenses for the, the number of users that you're going to have. The top consideration when considering any software is, of course, the user that it's targeting, whether they're a technical or non-technical person. Um, that has to be taken into consideration because if it's too technical, they might need training. Um, but if not, then it's an easy rollout, um, right? So besides cost as well, so cost is something that we consider. Um, you know, if it's obviously, if it's going to eat into a budget, then we cannot, um, and it's going to affect other operations that we, we have to have to sustain, then we, we don't consider it as well. It has to be budget friendly, I guess. Also, we consider um, how do you put it? Um, the interface or how it, how it uh, interacts with the existing software in the organization. Um, whether it's easy to import and export our data into the new software and how useful it's going to be in, um, I guess, how well it's going to connect with all those other softwares in the organization. So I guess those are our top three considerations.